everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. And yep, it's back to little red buffalo Chuck Riding Hood. Say good morning, Papa. Say good morning, Papa. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. It's 36 degrees, but the sun is coming out, so surely I'll get something done. And I, I just was up late last night and woke up early this morning thinking about planting and gardening and getting up the dog fence. So I don't think the dog fence is going to happen today. I need some more stuff, but I think I'm going to be able to afford to get the, get them. Sorry about that. Drop the phone. Anyhow, um, I think I'm going to be able to afford to get them. I checked Tractor Supply Company, and they've got the kind of fencing that I want for a little bit cheaper. And they've got some fence posts too. So in my mind, I've been planning it all out. I'm going to need a little bit of help getting that fence up, but um, I think I'll be able to get it done. So, uh, Papa's doing great. He's got his full energy back, and he just wants to get out and run and jump. So, I, like I said, I got to keep that under control. Uh, don't know what else I'm going to get done today, but hopefully today is the last day it's going to drop down below 40. Um, hopefully that this is the last time, because there was actually frost out on my truck when you know the windows and whatnot so I'm gonna finish my coffee I'm gonna go out it's uh, about 7 30 right now I'm going to let the chickens out like right away and just let them stay in the yard hopefully like I did yesterday and just see what the day brings hey you guys look at this I got me a new hat I went to the thrift store the other day and I've wanted one of these for so long my friend Francie my friend Francie from finding joy I <laughs> say that five times fast she has one of these. Hers is just all brown, but I found a camo one. It's perfect. I got the little stringy thing in back because I don't like it around my, you know. Um, for a dollar. I found this for a dollar. My favorite thrift store. Oh, yes. I'm very, very happy. So, you get to see me, see me in a different kind of hat. Pretty cool, huh? Say hi, Papa. What you doing, Papa? You've been a good boy. Since my chickens have been being such good girls and laying me eggs every day, uh, I've got some leftovers from dinner last night, just kind of like a chicken stew sort of a thing. And I chopped up apples on the top of it. Yep, no apple seeds. Let's see how they like it. Look at these hungry chickens. Yeah, like you're starving. So who we got? We got... Uh, gosh, I just can't tell these leghorns apart anymore. We got Coco. We got Roxy. Two of the leghorns. That means Miss Pris <laughs> and the hen that got picked, pecked really bad is in there probably trying to lay an egg. They'll come out and get some nummies later. There you go. You like it? Eat up. Oh yeah. Tell them where the good stuff is, Romeo. Good chickens. Yep, you guessed it, Miss Pris and I don't know which one that is. They're in here. Miss Pris is going to be in here forever. She takes forever. I don't know. Maybe she's going broody. Who knows? Since it got down so cold last night, I got to take this cover off and see if anything looks damaged. Well, it doesn't look like anything got harmed. Um, I think I've, I've lost the arugula. Well, there's a new one sprouting up there, but in this bin, yeah, I burnt them. There's still one little one. Those died, but still got some there. So I'll have to remember that next time. Uh, arugula doesn't seem to like, you know, <laughs> hot, 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 hot temperatures. All right, we got something coming up right there. I think cilantro. We knew that from the other day, right? Don't even know what's in there. Nothing there. Um, everything else looks pretty good. Look at two coming up here. There's another one coming up out of that one. And now we have something over there. I'll have to look at what and see what that is. But the beans look okay. I think they almost got burnt too. No other beans are coming up though. That's just weird. Very weird. And then we've got the zucchini coming up. Let's see. Yep. I'm, I'm thinking that's zucchini. Yep. Everything else looks like it's okay. Cucumbers. Um... Cayenne herb garden's doing okay, nothing new in there. Yep, tomatoes are doing just fine. See, look at they're doing just fine. So, I'm gonna leave this open today. 
this jalapeno bucket. I think these are jalapenos. I really and truly do. And that's in that weird soil that I just harvested for my land. Um, but look at this. Yep, we got another one of these little things here. I think what happened is the chickens got in here and pecked at some of these containers. Because some of them look like they've been pecked. And then maybe they just dropped a seed or something. Because they look like squash plants. Here's another one here. So, yeah, I'm going to just let them do their thing. I don't know. That might be a cucumber over there. Yeah, that might be a cucumber. That might be a cucumber, too. We're just going to let them go. And, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. I may end up putting something in those in those uh, garden beds down there. Mm, I'm going to have to decide. i got to go check the worms first. My daily routine for the last few days is I go pull up stones and cardboard and wood and whatnot and I go looking for worms and I've been adding them to the bin so we're gonna do it again today. The last couple days up underneath these two cinder blocks here there have been a ton of worms but none today except for that little centipede, millipede, whatever it is. So I'm gonna separate them. Anything that I'm gonna give to the chickens is gonna go in here and earthworms will go in there. Found one little baby one over here. It's drying up so I'm not gonna see as many close to the surface. I'm gonna have to dig down a little bit but even one is better than none. One of my favorite places to look is underneath this piece of plywood. And there's a nice big one right there. It's trying to get away. I gotta get it. Oh look, I found another shower curtain from last year. I'm gonna clean this up and use it on that one, that one bed that has the sides that are still uncovered. I only got about maybe 10 or 12 worms. You can't see them because I put a little dirt in there too in there. They're hiding. So I'll add them to the worm bin. But I did find some snails and various assorted things to feed the chickens. So, yeah, just toss them in. Snails, too. Ha, ha, ha. This one gets them all. Okay, good. So this is still a little bit moist. I broke this piece up all to heck. That's all right. I'm just going to add these new worms along with their dirt. See, there's a few in there. And I'm going to give this bin a toss just because, well, just because I need to fill this bedding and make sure that it is not too damp and it's not too dry. I think it's okay, though. This all looks pretty good to me, and I got my bare hand down in there and felt it, too. It's not too moist. There's no fluid pooling in the bottom and the worms seem to like to go up underneath of this so I'm not even adding any food scraps yet just because they've got so much bedding that'll come eventually once this bedding is eaten down a little bit but it seems like I'm retaining my worms because I'm not seeing really any castings up the side and around the rims of this so I think I think this bin is gonna do okay okay you guys one of my lilies is coming up Hooray! I'm excited. Yeah, I'm going to cover these herbs up with uh, this netting because the chickens have been pecking at them like crazy. Here's my pretty girl. See, it's already getting getting better. And nobody else has been pecking at her, so it must have been just that one day. You're being a good girl. You're getting along with others. <laughs> now you, Mr. Romeo, you need to take it easy, all right? I'm just sitting here having a little break on my porch because I've got a ton of more stuff to do. All the hens are not out in the yard yet, so I don't know. Miss Pris is probably in there still, sitting on them eggs, trying to lay one. Anyhow, um, yeah, i got a lot more to do. I've got to break some leaves, put them on the compost bin. I think I'm going to start some more seeds. I'm going to start moving the different seedling thingies around um, into their respective little raised beds and whatnot to kind of start planning where they're going to go permanently. And uh, yeah, it's turned out to be a beautiful day. It started out freezing cold, but it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Hopefully we won't drop down below 40 in the near future. <laughs> Hopefully not till next winter. But anyhow, you guys, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.